Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day. It is currently Tuesday, November the 15th at 5.15 p.m., and it's dark outside. However, when I got home today, we had some mail out front, and it is November's uh, MTB Pro box that has arrived, and Kristen is going to be nice enough to help me unbox it, and she's going to give you the point of view of a non-fisherman. What would you call yourself? An amateur? A amateur. Uh, weekend warrior? Um, what? I just like the stuff that's pretty, so. The colors and the different, you know, skirts and stuff on the jigs and the flake and the worms. And... Frogs. Frogs! So, let's get into this. Skin and blade, you know. All right. I see some lucky craft. So first off, guys, we have our what's inside card. This gives you uh, each individual bait and its retail value. So we're going to go through this whole box here. There's a lot of good looking stuff. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so cool. All right, we're just going to go in order. You ready, babe? Yeah. <laughs> All right, first off, we have the Moon Salt CB. 250 by Lucky Craft. Let me see if I can find it. Let me find it. Okay. Okay. You said look. Oh, it's on top. Okay. So it looks like a moon. It looks like a moon. You said moon. Yeah. So it looks like a moon. It has moon colors. Okay. Yep. What colors does it say it is on the back? Um. There should be a sticker. Pearl thread fin shad. Oh, so it's not moon color. It's pearl color. I can see that. Too. Okay. Okay. So this is a 15.99 crankbait. It's a really good looking bait, like Kristen said. This is pearl threadfin shad pattern. Um, it yeah. looks like it would run approximately, oh, I don't know. How deep do you think that runs? As deep as the water is. <laughs> I'd say six to eight feet based on the size of the bill. It's got a real narrow bill. It doesn't have that real wide spoon bill. So it'll probably have a little bit different action, maybe run tighter than a normal deep diving crankbait, but that'll be good for this fall. Totally. All right. Um, what do we have up next? Echo Rattle Trap. So we've got an Echo Bait by Rattle Trap retailing for $7.99. Well, this that last bait, let's just get a little close up there. See that? Yep. It's a good looking bait. All right. On to the next. All right. Echo, Echo Rattle Trap. It's honestly almost the exact same color is but it? this one's different this is fatter it's fatter it's got a smaller bill okay uh got some orange on the bottom the other one don't got that one this was made in the usa i like that yeah maga lucky crafts made in japan but J japanese baits are very high quality so well, this is still you know usa made in america america uh, the color on this one is going to be um, Top left corner. Sexy West. I want to make these names up. <laughs> and it dives three to five feet. There we go. It's just a Look nice little that. square bill. Square bill with our with it. Thanks, Echo. Rattle Trap. Oh, Rattle Trap. Yeah, this is going to be a very shallow runner. It's got some good uh, mustad triple grip hooks on it. Um, very good paint job. Rattle Trap makes really good baits. I love their lipless crank baits, and uh, I'll be, I'm excited to try out one of their square square bills. For sure. So next up, we have the flipping jig by Impact Lures. Oh snap! This says flipping, so it must be it. Okay, and that retails for six ninety nine. Oh, flipping jig. Now, now, where would we use that at? Um, you use flipping jigs in the pond you fish. Yeah, but what am I using them around inside uh, that pond? Bushes. Okay, so some bushes. No? Yeah. 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 Trees. Trees. Junk. Junk. Just junk fishing. Trash fishing. And she's right. I mean, that is essentially where you're going to throw this bait. I would throw it around a grass weed line. Um, off a of long point back in creeks right now, you know, just getting in there around all that dead vegetation that has died off from the water dropping down uh, to this point of the year. And 
I just get back in those creeks and fish that cover that you normally wouldn't be able to fish. This has got a crazy weed guard on it. I don't know if y'all can see this, but it's like a, what is this? I don't even know how this works. It's like a real thick plastic, plastic band. That's for weeds? It, yeah, I guess. How does that keep weeds off? It just does. And then it's got this rubber collar on the I shake of the sure. hook. And you take this plastic... It's like a real thick piece of metal. How can a fish bite that to... Well, see, the fish, when it bites, it's going to compress that plastic. Mm -hmm. But all your weeds are just going to roll right over the top. That's a real good... Looking jig. It's uh, black and blue in color. It's got a little bit of mylar in there. Looks like That's a people. silicone skirt. It's got a recessed line ties, so that'll protect your jig from the rocks and whatnot. But that's a very unique looking bait. It's going to be interesting to get your trailer on there without tearing it all to pieces with that rubber color. But other than that, it's a good looking jig. It's got a... Uh, high quality powder coat protection sleek. Recessed eye design, triple grip trailer keeper, 52 strand silicone flash skirt, Gamagatsu black nickel five off hook. Boom. Black and blue in color, half ounce flipping jig. Boom. Oh, and no worries, it tells you how to put your trailer on, so that shouldn't be a problem. So, that's exciting. All right, on to the next one. Mad Yappy. Mad Yabby by River to Sea. That's not it. Oh, it's these blue things look like crawfish. Look like crawfish, and that's exactly right. That's what they're imitating. That would definitely pair up well with this uh, impact jig. The color is America. America. No, it's America. America. M e r i c a. America. Okay. And that's a Mad Yabby one fifteen. Is that the color? Uh, Merca, yeah. That would be the color. And those retail, once again, for five twenty four. I don't know if I said that or not, but you want to smell them? Mm -mm. You don't want to smell them? I don't like the way they smell. They might smell good. They probably don't. How'd you like that, uh, that, uh, Bass Dynasty scent? You like it. I don't like it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is a fat bait. I don't even know if I'd put that on the back of a jig. That is a mad yabby right there. He's a fat. And it's got, <laughs> it's got these these uh, fins almost on the back of the legs, uh, almost similar to a rage crawl. So that's going to give those tails or those legs some really crazy looking action in the water. Uh, it's a great color. It's uh, blue with a little bit of silver and black fleck in there. And red. Is there red in there? Yeah. Do you see? Oh, yeah, I do see red. Good call, babe. But, yeah, it's got some really good ridges, so you can put, you know, whatever scent you like on there. It'll hold that scent for a long time. That was a, what is it, six-pack? Yeah. So that's a six-pack of the Mad Yabby from River to Sea for five twenty-four. right, what do we got next, babe? Big one. And that's literally what it's called, Big Worm. And that's by Buddha Bates, retailing for five forty nine. What is that? What are we looking at? Strive for a higher sense of fishability, fish and liking. What was their slogan? Strive for a higher sense of fishability, fish and liking. So, pack of worms retails for five forty nine. It's just a standard. I smell it. Uh, Oh yeah. No. They got that garlic. No. I don't want to smell Woo! Oh. Woo! Ugh. Mm, smells like Italian food. Yeah. Got some of that Italian scent on there. But anyway, it is a watermelon colored ribbon tail worm. I mean, I that's how I started fishing. I was using seven and a half inch yum ribbon tail worms and uh it's like an old motor oil off color. The car. I'm on yeah. wheel of fortune right now. Yeah. Okay. You like that bait? How how would you fish that bait? Ooh. Like that? Is that how you fish it? Yeah. How would you seriously? What? How would you apply that what? to a body of water? What? How would you approach a bait uh, like that? Jerk it. 
jerk it. No. You could fish it weightless. No. Nope. Most yeah, people. He said that is not the way to do it. Well, you yeah, could. You not, could. I don't know how to do that. That's why I don't know. I would Texas rig it. Okay. You remember with the bullet weight and then the wide gap hook? Okay. And you just hop it on the bottom? Yep. Yep, just hop it. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. So they smell good? No. No. <laughs> For a fish, maybe. All right. It's a good looking worm. It'll get used, especially in the wintertime when you fish are real lethargic and slow. Um, what we got next? Super Bowl Shake Your Head. Woo -woo. Charlie's Worms. But Retailing for $4.99. 3 16th of an ounce. 3 16th of an ounce? How do you say that? What do they, yeah, that's how you say it. What do they look like? Little black, little. They're not a circle, it's like a football. Little, like a worm bin? It's like a little piece of, um, I don't know what to call that, coming off. So, yeah, with a big old hook to catch a big old bass on it. Woo! -hoo. Do you like bass fishing, babe? I mean, I don't necessarily like any go. We don't do any other type of fishing. Okay. All right, so yeah, guys, like she was saying, they are 3 16th ounce shaky heads. You get a four pack. It's got a good spring uh, worm keeper on there for you. I don't know if you can see that. Yep, there we go. So yeah, I fish those around rocks. Um, any points? Any uh, on the edges of sandy flats? Wherever. Anything else in the box? Um. MTB is changing their name to the Catch Company. <coughs> Catch Co? I guess. Uh oh. But they're going to keep MTB Pro. Okay. And MTB. Okay. So what is this? Can we get a sticker? Yep. Send more stickers, Mystery Tackle Box. Send more stickers. Sweet little Catch Co sticker. We want more stickers. A little hexagon with a hook point. I don't know what that is. Clever symbolizes clever. Then we got the <coughs> Dibble Digest for this month. Tips for catching more fish on riprap banks. You know what riprap is, baby? Not straight. Not um, uh, even. Messed up bank. Okay, yeah. Messed so, up bottom. Like with a bunch of rock and wood and stuff like that. So. Like riffraff. He's all messed up. Riprap. Yeah. Or yeah, riffra. All right. So we've got uh, tips for catching more fish on riprap banks, fishing in the rain, which, you know, I don't think that's going to be happening anytime soon because we're in a drought. How to pray fish. For rain. Hashtag pray for rain. How to fish and underspin and how to catch bass in any vegetation. So looks like some good little tips and tricks and one time he wanted to go fishing and i was like babe it is lightning we do not need to go right now so he'd been out there probably 10 minutes we almost died from getting electrocuted from lightning we didn't almost die it was close it was close tell me it wasn't yeah it was pretty close it was pretty close well, thanks, Mystery Tackle Box. Yeah, so apparently they're going to, on the back of this What's Inside card, it says that they're introducing causes. Each month we're going to highlight a cause that is important to us and one we think you should all know about. Visit mysterytacklebox.com backslash causes to learn more. And that's probably, you know, conservation, um, maybe medical conditions that need research funding, you know. Just causes people need to get behind and support and yeah catch more fish but thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this you know two two-way perspective from kristen and myself uh if you're not already please subscribe to the channel for fins fishing uh on youtube i promise i won't be here every month <laughs> and uh we hope you enjoyed it and uh, the retail for all of this came out to $46.69. So spending, what, $25 a month for a subscription that you could cancel at any time with no fee. And, you know, essentially almost doubling your money. That's a pretty good deal. And you get Lucky Craft Baits, so who wouldn't be happy? Drops Mike. Walks away. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>